We stand for the prayer of the church. Let us pray to the Lord our God and Father who raised Jesus from the dead. For all God's chosen people whom he has knit together in the one mystical body of his Son, that he would give his whole church in heaven and on earth his light and his peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have been baptized into Christ's death and resurrection, that they may die to sin and rise to newness of life, and so pass with him through the gate of death and the grave to a joyful resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all who have been nourished by the holy body and blood of God's Son, that they may be raised to immortality and incorruption, to be seated with him at his heavenly banquet, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. For all ministers of the gospel and for the congregations committed to their care, that they may proclaim the comfort of Christ's sacrifice and the joy of his resurrection to all who grieve their sin and mourn their dead, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For all in authority over us, especially those that work to bring peace and justice, that God would supply them with his blessing and that they may be inclined to his will and walk according to his commandments, and that he would grant wisdom to our citizens and courage and competence to our leaders, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For all who travel, including uh, members of the Farnham family, for all those in need, for the sick and injured, including Cheryl, Tim, Penny, Franklin, uh, and others we name in our hearts, for all those who have asked for our intercession, uh, with thanks for the new baby girl, Ayantu, born to Reverend Adam and Margie, for Mary's birthday this day, uh, for uh, Carrie's Aunt Carol uh, as she goes through a difficult time. For all these and others we name in our hearts that God's great mercy may relieve and comfort each. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For the faithful in this veil of tears that in the midst of things we cannot understand, we may believe and find comfort in the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For all who commune, that in the blessed sacrament they may gather with joy around the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, whom saints and angels adore around his eternal throne. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. Keep us in fellowship with all your saints, O Lord, and bring us at last to the joy of your heavenly kingdom through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We offer our gifts to the Lord. Continue with the service of the sacrament, page 208. The Lord be with you. Also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give Him thanks and praise. It is truly good, right, and salutary that we should at all times and in all places give thanks to you, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and everlasting God, for the countless blessings you so freely bestow on us in all creation. Above all, we give thanks for your boundless love shown to us when you sent your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, into our flesh and laid on him our sins, giving him into death that we might not die eternally. Because he is now risen from the dead and lives and reigns to all eternity, all who believe in him will overcome sin and death and will rise again to new life. 
Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify your glorious name, evermore praising you and saying, King of all creation, for you have had mercy on us and given your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. In your righteous judgment, you condemned the sin of Adam and Eve who ate the forbidden fruit, and you justly barred them and all their children from the tree of life. Yet in your great mercy, you promised salvation by a second Adam, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord and made his cross a life-giving tree for all who trust in him. We give you thanks for the redemption you have prepared for us through Jesus Christ. Grant us your Holy Spirit that we may faithfully eat and drink the fruits of his cross and receive the blessings of forgiveness, life, and salvation that come to us in his body and blood. Hear us as we pray in his name and as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ, in the night in which he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same way also after supper he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, this cup is the New Testament in my blood which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Amen.